Kepler just dropped their first full Korean album and it won't be the last, but it is last with Mashiro and Yeso. I didn't see any teaser but the only thing I was praying for was that they don't make another Wii Fresh. Another app or Giri would work, maybe another Warada would work too but nothing like Wii Fresh. So how are shooting sir? That's what I will talk about in this video along with the full album but before I start I would like to remind you guys I rank and review at the same time. The song I will talk about first is my least favorite and gradually the last song is my most favorite. That's all for the intro, now let's get started. They are not here because they are bad. I personally don't like when songs are translated into another language. They are always end up being worse than the original. Grand P was bad in its original version so I don't even want to imagine the translated one. Although it has grown on me a little now. The post cross was great. However, State Line is a different case. If it was in the Korean version, it would be top at the list. From the choreography to the music to the visual, everything was great. And I don't like this fact because they are a fucking Korean group. Not a Japanese group but their two best songs are in Japanese. However, the Korean versions are not that bad. There aren't any awkward parts. They are listenable but I would prefer to listen to the original version. It was like a mix pop, the music changes several times and the changes are started. It feels like it had a card theme vibe, in some part it feels like Ives Ascendio and in one part it feels similar to Grand P, that was the post chorus. It wasn't a bad song but it is not my type of song. I might not skip it if it plays or maybe in a certain mood I might listen to it but not that often. I won't go out of my way to listen to it, it will soon be forgotten by me. This song has a retro 90s vibe, I can see some first generation group doing it, it gave that vibe. I mostly like retro, but not that old. You know, I have only one rule in my life. New is always better. It was a bit boring, there are some parts that were fun, like the second part of the chorus, and also the rap part kinda reminds me of I mostly race rap, but as a whole, it wasn't that good. It is not good enough for me to go out of my way to stream it. Maybe while playing games, I could listen to it, mostly because of the instrumental sounds great. It is a shame that it is so good, but I couldn't buy with the song. It was a roller coaster ride in terms of both music and quality. I actually got a snippet of it in the highlight medley. At that time, I felt like it would have a vibe similar to Twice. It contains that feeling, but in some parts, the first 23 seconds were great. I was loving it, but from here's part, it started to go wrong. At that time, I was confused about what she was saying. You need to focus on it to understand. Then suddenly, the music stops in the shouting part. It was surprising and of course something new. I liked it. It was one of the best part, not the best part because that was when shouting says However, after that the chorus starts and again, it has a busy instrumentals. It also feels like someone is doing ad libs and after all of this, it is hard to understand what they are saying. The rap part was fast, I can see myself liking that and I can point out which song it was but this part sounds too similar to another K-pop song. I tried to remember but I can't, my head hurts. If you know, please let me know. Anyway, they came full circle with their space concept. It has star in its name so it makes sense it has some spaces. Element. However, I have to say it was unique. I never experienced anything like that before. Maybe that's why I feel this way. With them, maybe I will get used to it. But thankfully, it is not that this Benman song. I would have hated Wake One so much. Although I already do. But Mashira and Yesu is a better. The intro was surprising. The whole song maintained a great pace. It was a heavily vocal focused song and as I love their vocal, why wouldn't I like it? The rap was great too, ad libs always touches my heart, the second verse and the chorus were my favorites, it has an acapella vibe, I sometimes like to listen to acapella, the same goes for this song, I like it but I will not listen to it often. It starts off good, like its name, it has a carnival feel, it has everything I personally love to listen, I was vibing with the song and it suddenly ends. As it is an intro song, it was short, just like my friend Shinky, it couldn't reach its potential and just like his girlfriend, I wasn't satisfied. If it was a full song, it definitely would have been at the top. Next 
Next up, double up. In my mind, I was thinking it would be similar to up, but everything would be double, double the fun, double the excitement, and surprisingly, it was exactly the same. The songs before it have a low calm vibe, but this changes that. And two songs after this also carry that vibe, as we discussed. It was more energetic. I feel it will have a choreography. It should have one. It deserves one. I really want to see them perform this on stage. The best part was the post chorus. That fast verse don't stop, just double up was amazing. I believe it has Hikaru's voice, it was fun to listen to. That's called a perfect B-side. It was the rewind of this album. I love rewind so much and if you know me, you know how much I love this type of song. Thankfully, Kepler also know that and made this song for me. It has an OST vibe but not fully. Some parts have that vibe. There is someone who sounds like twice as Mina. I feel the same in Flower Flutter Your Heart. I can't point out whose voice it is. I really want to find out. Her voice was great. I can see myself listening to this before going to bed. is one of the easy listening song. If you ever watch my review, you know I mentioned some songs that I can play all day in a loop and still not get bored. This is one of them. It doesn't have too many instruments. It starts the fun and maintains that energy throughout the song. It contains a cute and bright energy. Ives Wow also has a similar vibe. If you watch my Ives Switch review, you know how much I like it. The same goes for Curious. I love it. And what's up with I? I mentioned them three times. It just might be I'm too addicted to them. Overall, it was a decent album. It contains both sides of Kepler. If you love Kepler's Up or Galileo, you will find that feeling. If you love Refresh, not sure if anyone does, but that side is also present. I will definitely listen to Curious and Dear Diary often, as it is the last time we will see all nine together. I will regularly follow their music show stages. I saw some people hitting on Mashiro, by that I meant one in particular, and just Mashiro not Yasuo as she is the Makne, and according to them, she was the co-leader so how could she betray her members i don't understand why that dumbass doesn't understand it is not up to her it's one for the entertainment that doesn't want her to renew at least we will see them they won't vanish into thin air however i will miss online together especially eugene and yeso's chemistry at least it is better than nothing anyway these are just my thoughts you might have a different opinion than me why not share those in the comments and watch this video as youtube think you will like it i will see you guys soon until then have an awesome life